Hey guys, today I'll be doing the final episode of How to Solve a Cube Blindfolded. So what I want to go through in this video is parody, which does happen on in blind and some memorization techniques that I have and I'll probably do a couple of walkthrough solves as well. So first of all, parody. So do, you're doing your memorization and this is why we do memorize in letter pairs. So say you have three words like, I don't know, D, T, like dot, um, P, U, which is just P, U, and I don't know, H and C, hack maybe. Um, and then after that you have a B. So it's dot, P, U, hack, and then just B. If you only have one letter at the end, so you don't have a complete word at the end, um, then you have parity. For corners, if I'm going to switch these two pieces, I'll do that algorithm. It doesn't only just switch these two corners, because that's, I think that's impossible. It might not be, I'm not sure, but it also switches these two, this and this. It also switches these two pieces. Um, I'll just undo that. And then, of course, for um, edges, whenever you do one edge um, algorithm, it's always off by an M2. So whatever algorithm I'm doing, it's always off by an M2. So this should be white on top, and this is green, but it's the opposite. So, yeah, that's what happens if there's one letter at the end for the edges. So corners, these two are off. Edges, a whole M slice is off. Because if, if you're to do um, two algorithms, then... So I'll do the P and C. So P and C. If I do two, then that obviously makes these go back to normal. Um, so, and obviously if I do two M, M slice algorithms, then it'll be the same as, as well. But so we do pairs. So every pair every word, complete word that we do, it's going to make it so that um, these two are fixed on the second one and the M slice is fixed on the second one. But if we have one letter at the end, so we've gone through all of our algorithms and we have one letter at the end, then these two will be off and the M slice will be off. So an algorithm to switch these two and the M slice is this. So D prime, L2, uh, D, M2, um, D prime, L2, D. So it's a really easy algorithm. As you can see, the M slice is um, turned around. The M slice is done. And these two are switched. So that's the parity algorithm. How one I execute this is... Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I first, so first I memorize the corners, and then I memorize the edges, then I execute the edges, and in between, and then in, instead of executing the corners straight after the edges, if I have parity, I do that. But if you want, you can do parity at the end, but I just find it easier to remember I have parity after I do the edges. Now some memorization techniques regarding X because X is a really hard um, it's a really hard letter to make words with especially if it's at the start. If X is at the start there's hardly any words that starts with X so I think I mentioned this for edges. For edges if I have X at the start of the word I make it like an SH sound so X and L would be shill, or shilling maybe, um, but, uh, so that's what I do for edges, for corners, I used to really be into Pokemon, I'm still kind of into Pokemon, but, 
since there's like I don't know like 600 Pokemon there's a whole bunch of um, names that start with different letters so when I get X at the start of a word at the start of um, the first letter in a word and then I have D so like XD what I would say is duckling so whenever I'm in my execution whenever I come across a Pokemon I know that the first um, the first letter is an X and then whatever the second let whatever the Pokemon's name starts with so D would be the second letter I do recommend using like if you if you're in if you were into something where there's a lot of a variety of different um, proper nouns usually then I recommend using that also what some people do is instead of having X for um, X for the edges right here and X for the corners here what some people do is they replace these with Y so it's a little bit easier to rem remember um, make words using Y so that's another thing you can use um, other than that I think I covered everything regarding parody and um, parody and memorization so I'm just going to quickly do a hand scramble so this one has parody so let's just go through the memorization real quick so and then I'll do execution a little bit faster except for the parody bit so buffer piece look at where this goes so it go starts at F F goes to M so family F and M I'd say family now P oh since this is um, where the buffer piece is because white blue and orange and this is the white blue and orange place so I have to start a new cycle and I always start at P because P is you don't require any setup move so my family was at a pub P and B my family was at a pub and then W and Pub goes to W, W goes to um, S. So W and S, that's actually a hard one. In Wales, so my family was at a pub in Wales and then it ends with a K. So you just have to remember um, K at the end. So my family was at a pub in Wales and then just K. That's how I remember it. You can make up a system of your own to help you remember just single letters. But I find just remembering the letter by itself is pretty easy. Okay, so now on to edges. So this one goes to G. And this is already where um, the this is already the buffer piece. So G, and then again, I'll start at A since A is easy to execute. So actually, sorry, this is O. So O and A, O, A, I'll probably just say away um and then this is l away um lat away lat and then w away lat um wed away lat wed um gab away lat web gab and then i away lat web gab ip and then it's just Q. Yep, that's that's all. So starts with away, away, and then it's lat, away lat, and then it's um, sorry, it's wid, or I think wad. I forgot what I said. I'm kind of cheating here since it, it usually takes me way longer to memorize, but for the the purpose of this video, I'm just cheating. So away, let, wib, wid, and then it's gab, and then ip, so the i algorithm, ip. And then just a Q at the end. And then now we have parity. As you can see, it's off by an M slice. 
So we do the parity algorithm. I'll leave it in the description again. All right, so my family, so F. Okay, so M's right here. Um, instead of for M and N, um, what what you can do instead of instead of bringing it down to the target piece, you can cancel a move since you're going down to the target piece, and the first move in the algorithm is up. You can cancel out going down and then up again, and just starting with the second move in the algorithm. And then after you do that again, you have to move. You have to so you do the algorithm canceling out the first move, but it ends up here, so you just have to bring it up again. Now it's a new um, new cycle. So my family was at a pub. Um, and then it was my family is a pub in Wales. Wales, and then there's just a K at the end. Okay, so yeah, that's that's about all for this video. Um, before I end it, I just want to say, I don't. If you're starting off, I don't recommend doing like multiple blind solves in a row, because if you do that, then you might um bring bring one memorization into the next solve so for the first solve say you have this memorization that you've memorized and then on your second solve you might get confused on which memorization um that you memorized if you know what i mean so i i suggest taking about a 10 minute break in between each solve you can do a bit more like 10 minute 20 minutes something like that Again, I might not have been clear on something, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And good luck with your blind solving. Bye.